For those of you that aren't familiar, the purpose of this expo is to honor Black culture, history, and achievement while building capacity in the community by providing tools, information, and resources to facilitate professional and personal advancement. The Office of Human Rights and Equity seeks to advance equal opportunity, eradicate discrimination, and protect and promote rights in Howard County. The office investigates complaints regarding discrimination in employment, financing, law enforcement, housing, and in public accommodations. In addition to investigating complaints of discrimination, the Office of Human Rights and Equity conducts outreach and training with the community. In our efforts to reduce discrimination, change people's mindset, and effectuate change, the outreach unit conducts trainings, lead presentations, dialogues, celebratory events, and other relevant outreach activities expose people to different cultures, people from different walks of life, and overall to just make sure that we are advancing everyone and being equitable here in Howard County. We were able to gather about, um, about 15 um, businesses and restaurants that were interested in sharing with you. And as each of their opportunity comes up to speak, Marla will advance them to a panelist and they will have the opportunity to come on screen. Some may have materials to share, some may just be talking to you, but this is the opportunity for them to make this what they would like and for them to share with you and for us to celebrate and honor what they are doing for economics here in Howard County. So our first person and Marla will elevate Ms. Robin Skates, who is the managing partner of Skates Legal Group. Ms. Skates has partnered with the Office of Human Rights and Equity before. Okay. There you go, Ms. Skates. How are you? I'm doing great. How is everybody doing? I'm going to answer for everybody on here. Since everyone can answer, we're all doing great and we're happy to see your face. We're happy that you were able to join us today. So I'm going to take it over so you can share with everyone. Um, a little bit about Skates Legal Group and what you have to offer and why someone would contact you. Okay. All right. Again, thank you. I'm so um, happy to be invited to the forum and I'm also so excited um, to be a part of the forum, especially because I am a Howard County resident and my business is in, um, my office is inside of Howard County. So thank you so much. I love that, that we're doing this. So our firm is Skates Legal Group and the law office is of Robin Skates. And I am um, the managing partner of Skates Legal Group and the law offices of Robin Skates. We, um, we are a general practice law firm and we pretty much um, help families um, with the, um, most of their legal needs. We specifically specialize in estates and trusts. Um, we do family law, personal injury. Um, we also handle civil litigation. And we also have a number of um, for profit and um, non profit um, companies that we serve as general counsel. Um, so we help people and advise people on starting a business. And also, we are there to protect them as general counsel um, as they. Um, you know, work on their business on a day to day basis. We also handle employment law uh, matters. And also, um, I have the privilege of being um, general counsel, um, contracted general counsel for Baltimore County Department on Aging. So we also do elder law issues, which include adult guardianship um, cases, as well as um, helping families plan for when they're. Um, family member becomes ill or has to transition from the home into a more um, 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 supportive medical um, place or assisted living um, place. Um, so our um, we we do a number of things in the community as well. We speak to churches. Um, my mission um, that I have noted early on is is that my my calling is to serve. And to serve um, to serve people and help people realize what their calling is in their life. And so, with that, um, we are big on helping people plan estates and um, trusts, 
is something that is very an area that's very close to my heart. So we speak at a number of um, religious organizations, churches, um, community centers. Um, we um, anywhere I go, I talk about the importance of planning and planning early. No matter how old you are, it is never too early to plan because I look at that and we call that the legacy of love that you leave for your family. So if you are in need of any type of um, um, estate planning or even beginning the conversation for having a power of attorney, a health directive, or um, even finding out again what you should be doing now at this stage, then please give us a call. We come, we meet with families. That is definitely my preference. We meet individually, we meet. Sometimes um, we have um, things called estate planning parties where we have friends and family. Again, because sometimes that make it, it makes it easier for people to have those conversation. Um, and we also do um, um, estate litigation as well and handle probate matters. So again, we are here to serve. Um, we currently have, um, just so if you are interested in finding out more information and to be supportive of your business, we are doing a seminar on Wednesday, March the 3rd um, from 6 to 8 p.m. virtually for the Community Law Center. And we are talking about um, all of the things that you need to know to run a business. Um, and if you are currently running a business or you're thinking about running a business, I encourage you to be a part of this because we're going to talk about a lot of legal pitfalls that companies go through. And in some cases, companies have um, actually gone out of business. So again, we are here for you and um, we just let us know and keep us posted. But I'm going to end there. But thank you again for the opportunity. Robin, before you go, can you share your phone number, email address, and your contact, how someone would get in contact with you? Also, okay. if they want more information about that seminar you just mentioned, how would they get that? Okay, so you can either go to the Community Law Center and um, that org, and that's the word community, law, and center dot org and you can click on that registration for this that's why i'm excited it's only 25 dollars, so it's a very nominal fee and you'll get two hours um and, and you'll also have an opportunity to ask any questions that you um, have at a nominal cost um you also can email um, us directly the firm at skates and that's s is in sam c is in cat a is in apple t is in tom e is in Edward. s is in sam the word legal, L-E-G-A-L, -E at gmail.com. Um, and again, we can, somebody from my staff can forward the information to you, or if you have any questions, you can get our office number is 443-325-7290. Again, 443-325-7290. Thank you, Ms. Gates. We appreciate it. And I'm sure Thank you. Um, we had we had one question from the chat. Sure. Um, if someone needs your services, do you have financial planning? Um, excuse me, financial payment plans. And what we, other incentives do you have to encourage people who may you know be a little financially challenged in these times? Okay, well, I, I encourage you this. I encourage you to um, to give us a call and um, and then we can talk about your individual situation and we will look at working with you or we may even if and if we can't help you um, from a financial standpoint, we also have other resources that we can refer you to. But we do a lot of pro bono um cases as well but again we have to look at what the situation is i think it'll be unfair for you to for me to tell you that oh okay you wouldn't um you know that we would be able to help in every situation because that's not the case but we definitely work with our clients and we're known to um, work with our clients thank you for having me um be a part of the expo and i am owner of labati massage and we are a wellness organization and that is very timely especially in the pandemic era because what our focus is is we present classes and wellness types of sessions to organizations and groups churches fraternity sororities anybody that can come together and try to get people to realize that they need to really 
focus on their self-care. And um, the different types of classes that we provide are anything from Zumba to yoga to cardio fitness. And that's really, really key with regards to the pandemic because in March, a lot of our business had to be suspended because we do massages, corporate massages, we do reflexology and all of that, and we can't really be hands-on right now. So we were able to work things out where we could take our um, virtual sessions and make it so that people could still really focus on their health and really mentally and physically, especially in the, the course of this pandemic. And what's really good about it is we offer it for all levels. So we are able to target our Zumba and yoga classes for the beginners who've never done it before, for people who are intermediate, and then those who have been doing it forever um, from an advanced perspective. And even with the Zumba, we have a whole smorgasbord of different types of classes that we can offer for people who are even injured. And we call it um, Zumba Gold, for people who are 55 and older. And like a lot of people don't like to be gyrating and moving around, but they still wanna make sure that they stay active. So we have classes where you can do it in a chair, you do stretch, you do um, just chair yoga. So it really took off and we actually have a contract with Howard County government that we've been doing since April. And it is very, very welcomed. And so these are the types of things that we want to continue as we, you know, still morph through the whole pandemic um, era, so to speak, so that people, when you're working remotely and you're really stressed out, being able to tell you how to and show you how to take that time just to kind of recharge, re-energize, and give you options on how to do so. So that's one of the things that since COVID, we're very, very blessed that we were able to kind of morph that into a virtual type session. I'm gonna have over 20 some um, instructors and um, yeah, Zumba instructors that would be able to help facilitate that. And so anybody who's watching this, if you have um, family members or if you're in part of an organization, definitely um, get in contact with us so that we will be able to talk to see if this is something that would be um, feasible for your employees or the people that are part of your organization. Now, with regards to the massage and the reflexology, um, these are 10, 15, 20 minute massage sessions in a chair, fully clothed, as well as with reflexology for the feet. And now that people are starting to get vaccinated and, um, the spike is starting to come down a little bit. Our companies are starting to call us back. Um, my massage therapist, I have 63 massage therapists and we're in DC, Virginia, Maryland and Care First and United Healthcare are my largest clients. So they're starting to get ready to contact us to start coming back into the offices and um, be able to represent um, those corporate events and health fairs, benefit fairs we you know go out for you know anywhere between two to six hours sometimes it might be three or five different massage therapists um i've had 12 therapists at an event before it depends on the venue people are doing it for employer appreciation people are doing it to celebrate birthdays or i have some companies that just let us come out once a month of the american urology association um, every third Tuesday we go out and it's just something that they're trying to incorporate with their wellness program. So we are in CDC protocol. We use their guidelines, especially for COVID for the, as we transition back to do the physical part. Um, I am going to be the one doing the stress presentation on Thursday. And um, the really cool thing is not only am I the only of, owner of Labati Massage, I'm also the owner of MDHR Consulting, which is a human resources consulting firm. Um, my background is human resources and it's been from since 1995. And then um, I transitioned over into healthcare, but both of my companies overlap because with human resources, what I do is I go in and I consult with people and we can do a hodgepodge of all HR um, functions that is necessary, but our main focus is training and development. So wellness training, um, stress training, a lot of times I get asked for a workplace balance, but 
EEO training, performance management training, sexual harassment is one of my niches, EEO. Um, EEO and diversity was my niche when I was in corporate. But the reason the companies will overlap is because a lot of times in human resources, they have their workplace wellness programs from the benefits department. And so they'll ask me, you know, what types of things can you help to, you know, guide for wellness in the workplace? So we have, you know, how do you, um, make sure that you don't do bad habits and time management and all that type of stuff. So I will interchange and contract one company out to the next, but with regards to the HR company as well, we will help you with policy administration. We will do your handbooks. We will do um, talent management and recruiting and all of that type of stuff for you as well. So um, definitely anybody's interested, you can contact me personally at 410 916-5016, that is the phone number. And then for massage services, if anybody's interested in hearing about how we can do the virtual sessions right now, or even if there's something that you feel comfortable for us to come into the workplace or your organization, um, it is labadimassage at gmail.com. So that's L-A, B as in boy, O, D as in David, I, massage, M-A-S-S-A-G-E at gmail.com. And then if there's something from a human resources perspective, then you can get in contact with me at M-D, no, I'm sorry, contact at M-D-H-R-consult.com. Well, hello everyone. My name is Asha Taylor and I'm a freshman at Howard University and I am a 19 year old hair braider. I am completely self-taught um, and my small business is known as Hair by Asha. And basically the productive and objective for my business is purely just to help educate um, those who maybe aren't as educated on how to protect black hair, how to grow black hair, which is something I've studied throughout my life, both for myself and now I want to share that with everyone else. Um, and as I said, I'm trying to just um, expand my company throughout the Howard County region, and I'll be providing various um, braiding hairstyles, including knotless braids, box braids, passion twists, feed in braids, and corn rolls. And throughout my experiences of trial and error, I have learned how to healthily maintain my own hair. And from my extensive research, I found that protective styling is actually one of the best ways to shield black hair from the harsh conditions of weather or extreme tension and it also promotes extreme hair growth. Um, so as a stylist, I value making connections with my clients while also educating them on how to maintain their hair while in braids and when I'm not around not doing their hair so that they can promote hair growth for themselves. Um, and I also appreciate you all for the support of my growing business. And I use all necessary COVID precautions. Masks are required to be worn and I personally sanitize my workstation in preparation for all appointments. And depending on the location, I'm open to traveling to my clients with the an additional charge and I provide a free consultation. So for people who maybe don't know how to do their hair as much, I'm fully open to teach everyone what they need to in order to, everyone's hair is different, everyone's hair needs different things. And so I just wanna share my education, what I've learned with others. Thank you, Asha, that was great. So if someone wanted to take advantage of your services, how would they get in contact with you? So to book an appointment with me or ask questions, um, inquire about a service in the future, you can contact me at my phone number, which is 240-360-8388. Um, you can phone call or text. I usually respond very quickly. And also at my email, which is ataylo5253 at gmail.com. Um, I also respond to any messaging via social media as well. My Instagram handle is at asha.alia. Um, so thank you very much for your time. For Asha, we have two questions. Do you recommend braiding for hair with thinning edges? And then do you charge an additional fee to, to style hair in a client's home? So purely just for the transportation that I would charge depending on the location. So um, depending on how far it would be or how accessible it is for me personally, I would charge for that. 
Um, but I'm usually very lenient. I don't mind going far um, within the Howard County region. It's usually pretty fine with me. Um, however, and for the thinning edges, I would recommend braids. However, I do not braid tight. So I want to make sure I would keep the edges out, just kind of letting them breathe. We can talk about different oils and different products we can use to help retain that growth so that in the future, as you are getting your hair braiding, it will grow. And then you'll also not have that much tension there. So we can talk about different things. And as I said, I do consultations. I don't mind talking about what's necessary. And a lot of times too, when I do braiding hairstyles for clients, I'm able to show them. If you've never seen it in person, I can show you the products as well and where to find them. Asha, you're so popular. We have more questions. Do you also do weaves is one question. But then the other question is, how long should you keep braids? And I'm going to extend that. How long should you keep synthetic or natural, somebody else's hair or purchased hair in your head safely? So as I said, I'm completely self-taught. And in my experience, I grew up always going to hairstylists and different things. And I finally learned to do it on myself because I found that people were putting too much tension on my hair. So I find that you should leave it a month, a month and a half if you wanna make it last, purely just because it's not great for the health of your hair. Your hair needs time to breathe. It needs to be able to have some air to it. It needs to not have that heaviness pulling and things like that. And as far as weaves, yes, that is something I'm in the process of adding to my um, services as well. Um, let me see. Okay. And we have one. I, okay. There was, I think that was the only question. Let me see. I don't, that's it. But Asha, thank you. I too am a Howard alumni. So I am so mm -hmm. proud that you're continuing our, um, you know, our tradition of excellence, okay? H-U, you know, I had to say that, all right. <laughs> thank you so I much. Should make sure to put your information in the chat box and I will just say thank you very much. And I will also give a seal of approval before I cut all my hair off. I did braid my hair a number of times and did a lovely and wonderful job with it. So thank you very much, Asha. Thank you so much for having me. There you go. Hi, Greg. All right. Hello. How are you? I'm turning it over to you so you can share the fighting lawyer and, and what anyone can expect from you when they contact you. All right. Um, thank you. And just want to thank you, Yolanda, Marla, and also our county executive, executive Dr. Ball. Uh, my firm is called The Fighting Lawyer. And uh, Marla, there's a there's a, a few pictures that I would like to share if you're able to pull that those up. Um, I got you. <laughs> all right, thanks. I often joke around that I had two options growing up, either to become a uh, to go to law school or to become a superhero. And I joke and tell people I decided to do both. Uh, you can see my logo here, the fighting lawyer. There's some fists there. Uh, people often ask, they say, you're so nice, and are you going to fight for me? And of course I will. If we can go to the next page, please. That's it. That's it. The next one with the, the beautiful woman and the children. A uh, one up. Okay. You see the one right there on the far right? That's me. Down south, they call it the knee baby. And so the, the the baby, the youngest, sits in the lap. And so the joke was with my with growing up, they always talked, they always asked questions, they always said, this isn't fair. And at the age of four, my grandmother said, baby, you're going to be a lawyer. You talk so much. And at the age of five, I made that decision that I would be a lawyer. Go to the next picture, please. Just a little uh, press on that down button. Uh, there it is. That man right there, that was my father. That's my father right there. And he graduated um, in 1965 from Georgia Tech. He was the first African-American to graduate from Georgia Tech. I was a hero to me. I used to hear the stories about how he was a civil rights activist and the things that he did and how and what he went through to integrate Georgia Tech. And from then, just to hear the, the difference it makes when you have those doors open, when you have people lobbying and fighting for equity, that gave me that hunger from an early age to want to be a voice for justice, a voice for fairness, and to see how he collaborated and the things that he did with different people um, to, to open the doors at Georgia Tech. You can't see in that picture, but he had undercover officers with him 
there was such a uh, anger, resentment, and fear that someone would try to take his life. Imagine that, graduating from college and getting and, and having to be concerned about your life. If we can scroll down one, please. And so my firm, I do a wide range of practice areas, a general practice, uh, at, like my colleague, uh, Robin Skates, who came on earlier. You would, can you believe that uh, in the legal community, African Americans make up two to 4% of the lawyers, despite the need for justice and equity. It is a tough profession for many uh, financial and other reasons and things that, that have barred us from getting in there. And it's such a need. And to have someone here. And so my practice area, any type of civil litigation, criminal defense, family law, types of business transactions, entertainment law. And so just to be able to I work with clients of all races, all nationalities, backgrounds, uh, sexual identification, uh, you name it. And so for them to have someone that they believe who's going to listen to them and be an advocate for them, uh, that's, that's who I am and that's what we do. I have been, uh, I am an attorney, I am an activist, I am a minister, and so I am in the community, a lifelong Howard County resident. Been here since I was three years old. I grew up in the, in the high school, in the public school system, and then went on to University of Maryland in Georgetown. I'm here, I live here, I work here. Uh, the books, some of the books that I've written and published, uh, Trials of the Christian Lawyer, um, I've helped attorneys to, to walk that fine line and walk with ethics and walk with integrity um, to use their God-given talents for the right reasons. The book in the middle is a law school boot camp. I wrote that at a sixth grade reading level, a sixth grade reading level, so that others can become attorneys. And so I've mentored, I've given these books to people. I taught at the University of Maryland and to help people who were discouraged, didn't think they had any chance to become an attorney to become an attorney. And so uh, I, I, I want to wrap up my time in a little bit so we don't have to go through any more slides. But I just want to say that for my firm that is out there available, we do help people. We help people who have been discouraged, who, has, who have been discounted, and, and to give them a voice and amplify your voice and show you and help you know your value and that other people to respect that value. And so it's not that I'm the fighting lawyer and I go out and look for fights, but every now and then there is a fight. There is a fight then, and you need someone who's going to be um, in your corner, who's going to be your microphone so that you're heard and that you're respected. And again, I want to thank Howard County for doing this because there are so many businesses out there who do wonderful things, but because of the complexion of the owners, um, there's a concern of the qualifications and the ability. And so some of us, as, as I have grown up and pushed to be uh, better, stronger, faster, to work harder, um, because of that perception. And so please give African American businesses and business owners and professionals the opportunity uh, to work for you, to help you. And so, uh, after, uh, again, if you have any questions for me, I would be more than happy to answer them. Greg, we appreciate you and everything that you continue to do in the community and to advocate for everybody. As two lawyers on here, as Greg mentioned, that there is so many legal concerns and legal needs in the community that both if you were to contact Robin or Greg, there is enough business in the community that each of them would be able to continue to service the community. So Greg, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing today? Good afternoon, Alan. Thank you very much. And we're going to gladly turn it over to you. Thank you. All right. So hi, everyone. My name is Alan J. Dixon, a sales representative for, Cut Co for Vector Marketing. And I am an independent contractor and I sell products for Cutco Cutlery. So I graduated from Mount Hebron High School class of 2020, and I currently attend Morgan State University as a marketing major. So since 1949, Cutco has proudly made high quality kitchen knives and products based out of New York. All Cutco knives are American made and are forever guaranteed, meaning if you have, you know, ever anything happens to the knives, you can send them back to us and we'll fix them and replace them. And so Cutco is a company that makes knives and other kitchenware, uh, you know, sports, outdoor wear, gardening tools and other things. And all of our products 
our lifetime guarantee. And so I have the privilege of selling and exposing people to the exceptional craftsmanship of Cutco knives. When I began to use Cutco knives, I was amazed at the difference uh, a great knife can make in the kitchen. And for anyone wondering, yes, I do cook. So through my business selling Cutco, it has helped me develop my skills in sales, communication, and marketing. And Cutco has provided me the perfect opportunity to enhance my skills as well as build a business, which is helping me pay for school. And through selling, I have the opportunity to win an All-American scholarship to help out with school. Now, I'm just trying to find people that I can show my presentation to just to expose you to all that Cutco offers. Even if you choose not to buy anything, I would love to conduct a presentation for you as I still get paid and it will further assist me in building my business and my brand. And also, if you are trying to find an opportunity to make additional money or have a career change, contact me as well. I'm currently building a team of sales reps for the summertime. So if you know any uh, high school seniors, you know, college students or anyone, you know, past that point that's trying to make some extra money or, you know, find a new career path, um, I will leave my contact information below in the chat. So you can contact me at 443-414-2894 or at alandixon2020 at gmail.com. So I'll just show a few things here. Um, and once again, um, if you all want to check out one of the presentations, you can contact me in the information in the chat. Um, so a few of the popular items we have is this one here. It's uh, called a Petite Chef. This is great for anyone who uses veggies a lot. So we have covers for our knives if you don't choose to get a set. And so these are our knives, extremely sharp. Um, but once again, you'll never, you know, I know knives are a little weird, um, you know, we're purchased, but you'll never realize the importance of having a, you know, quality sharp knife until you really have one. So this is our Petite Chef uh, favorite. And we also have this one here. It's called a uh, spatula spreader. So this one's great for like bagels, cakes, lasagna, brownies, other little things like that, where you can cut it, spread things on, you know, spreading peanut butter and jelly and stuff like that. Um, and then just this, you know, last two real quick, we have a paring knife, which is great for like fruits and veggies, small things you might cut in your hands, like bananas, strawberries, stuff like that. And we have a trimmer here, which is one of our popular knives. So it's just great for anything on the cutting board, um, whether you're chopping tomatoes, you know, slicing raw chicken in the strips, just anything on the cutting board like that. So we have a plethora of knives, way more than what I've showed here. So once again, you can call me, email me, text me, or shoot me a message on Instagram at, you know, 443-414-2894. And Instagram is Alan J. Dixon. All right, thank you so much. My name is Brandy Eddingbird, and I am the owner of Diva Dolls and Dudes Salon Suite in Columbia, Maryland. I'm located in the Wild Lake Shopping Center on top of David's Natural Market. Um, my, num my suite number is 30. I'm inside of salons by JC, so I'm a booth renter, um, but I treat my salon as if it's a full-fledged salon. Um, my mission is we're dedicated to delivering the difference. And what I mean by that is I actively listen to each and every one of my clients needs, concerns, wants, desires when it comes to doing their hair. I don't always say yes to everything because it all depends on the health of the hair. And that's where Diva Dolls and Dudes makes the difference. I don't just do it because it's something that you want. I do it because it's something that your hair can handle and also tolerate. Let me go to my, this is what my salon suite looks like. Um, it's a private suite, so I have 100% privacy. So I have, I do have blinds, um, so I can raise them or close them. But what everybody loves about my suite is just me and you in there one on one. And with COVID, I do require everyone to wear their mask. I also have, as you can see it, these lovely things here floating all around my suite. And what it is, it's a blue light. Um, germ uh, antibacterial um, killer, basically. It traps all, in, all germs and bacteria. And I love it because every five minutes it's actually going off and people are like, oh, what's that? I'm like, it's sanitizing the air. Um, 
So everybody loves that about my area. I also have aromatics going. When you walk into my room, it literally says, welcome, sit, and relax. Most of my clients actually end up going to sleep in my chair, which I actually love because that means you have all the ultimate trust in a person. Um, these are what my mask actually look like. I figured with the best way to actually um, brand myself, but to let everybody wear my mask. There's all different types. The one that the teal and black one that you see is actually the popular one because it's a sport mask. So it allows you to be able to Zumba, exercise, run, do your errands, and it's still protecting you at all, all at all the way around. Um, it does have a filter in it. It also you can put a, another filter in it just so that while you're getting your hair done, you're actually supporting the brand as well. I was also featured in Sophisticated Hairstyles. Um, I love the one with Rihanna when she first came out in uh, 2013. Um, and what I love about this is that I actually was working for a different company. And for me to be featured in this magazine, it was like one of my highest points of my life. <laughs> I can actually say. Um, and what I liked about it is because I had, it was exposure to Brandy. It wasn't ex exposure to Diva Dolls and Dudes yet, but everybody was getting to know who Brandy was and who I am as a person. I am all about customer service. I put my customers, like I said, their needs and their wants for their hair first. Um, as most people would tell you, like, I am literally cheaper than a therapist. Um, so we get like a little psychology going in there as well, some therapy, and that's what that's what your stylist is, is for. You know, you want a place to vent and also come out the chair looking good at all times. I love doing some community support. Um, Diva Dolls and Dudes was actually located in Laurel when I first started, um, and I did Main Street Festival, so this is a shot of that. Um, so we were there doing stuff for the kids, doing like hair painting, um, tinsel, extensions, all types of stuff so that, you know, the community can feel Diva Dolls and Dudes. Now if, that I'm in Columbia and because of COVID, um, I'm on the backside of Wild Lake Shopping Centers, um, I mean, Wild Lake Middle School's folder. Um, so you can find a little bit of advertising from me there. My passion and what I love is I always, like I said, bringing awareness to things. So this is why Diva Dolls and Dudes, our colors are teal, black and white, because it stands for PCOS. And I just kind of put a different, two different websites that I actually deal with um, on a regular basis talking about PCOS. And that actually leads me into hair loss. Um, a lot of people don't understand that when you start to lose hair, it's not the relaxer. It's, it's truly not the relaxer. So let me just go ahead and dial down that myth. It has everything to do with your hormones and with everything that has to do with what's going on in you internally. So be it medication, be it um, medication, be it PCOS, uh, hypertension, thyroid, whatever, directly affects your blood, directly affects your hair. And a lot of people don't understand that. So this is one of my passions because I'm always cautious about my client's hairline just because I have PCOS. And as you can see, my hairline is very thin. And that's one of the reasons why. So I always try to make sure that my clients understand that, hey, yeah, you're losing hair, but let's dig into why. It has nothing to do with the outside. It has everything to do with what's going on internally. And that brings me to my Hair Loss Awareness Month, which is actually in April. So I try to promote hair loss and get more hair loss clients in so people can understand what's really happening. I've had so many people come to me and say, I just woke up and it was like this. Well, that's not necessarily true, <laughs> but it is something that does happen over time. And we all have to face that animal at some point in, in time. We just have to understand what's really happening. I also offer continue ed continuous education for hairstylists. I am a colorist. This is what I do. Um, and I like to share with people that 
you don't have to bleach everybody's hair out um, in order to achieve color. If you understand the science behind color and, and DNA, you, you can color anybody's hair without using bleach. And so in my curriculum, I actually teach stylists how to properly color someone's hair without using lightener. Then my next screen is just a lot of pictures that I actually offer like uh, before and afters. Um, I do a wide range of client, clientele, but I kind of wanted to show you guys like this is what my before and afters kind of look like. Um, I, like I said, I love to color. And I also have one other feature that I want to tell you guys about, and that's facials. So Diva Dolls and Dudes have launched facials uh, this January, and a lot of people believe that facials are not necessary, but they're actually just like a massage is actually necessary, getting your hair is actually necessary, facials are necessary too, because a lot of times you don't understand that it empties the lymph nodes. And a lot of people get lymph node cancer and don't understand why. What well, did you ever get a facial? Because it's emptying those drains. So um, I wanted to point that out. Um, let me just move your slide along so you can see some of the colors that I actually do. Um, this is a before, after, and um, the final uh, finale of this young lady's hair. And this was not done with any type of lightener. Um, a lot of uh, African-Americans ask me, can I get mermaid colors? And I'm like, sure, you can get mermaid colors. You just have to know how to properly color hair. I also do wigs. So if Bonita needs to come in and get her hair done, Bonita can get her hair done. I got a stand for her and I got a mannequin head for her. So you can drop off and get custom colors for your wigs as well as um, I think they're called just middle pieces. This is some short haircuts and pixie natural colors that I did just to kind of show you I do do, do a variety of hair and it's a picture of me and my mom. This is the team. She's the esthetician and I'm the hairstylist. So this is the brains behind Diva Dolls and Dudes. Um, you can reach me. I'm stop sharing now. You can reach me on um, Instagram if you want to see like what my page look like. It's Brandy underscore loves underscore color. Um, if you want to get more information, you can click the booking link and it'll take you to my booking site. Um, you can also find me on Facebook, Diva Dolls and Dudes Hair Salon. You can reach me at 301-852-7649. And if you want to email me, it's ddhair at gmail.com. Yay, Brandy, we love you now. You have the same question that I asked you during rehearsal yesterday because of your fabulous eyebrows. Do you <laughs> eyebrows? So you're just an eyebrow model, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can like shape them and dye them for you so that you can color them in yourself. Not a problem. Okay. And the other thing is don't forget to put your stuff in the chat. Okay. Please, because I, you'll do it far better than I will. And I want everyone to be able to find you. Um, does anyone have any more questions for Brandy? I think that Brandy was very comprehensive in sharing that she does hair, you know, of all types, short, long, um, natural. All, so that's what I heard, Brandy, right? And facial. <laughs> <laughs> and that you, you're following all COVID protocols and that people should feel safe coming into, um, into your shop. Very much so. Like, I want people to feel like as if it's a an uh, everyday occurrence in the shop, I make sure that, you know, even if you walk in without a mask, I'll give you a mask, like, just so that you feel safe. I also give my, my clients mask breaks. So I'll walk out the room and be like, yeah, look, take off your mask while you're processing. I'll be back in like 45 minutes because you get tired of being behind it all the time. So I want to make sure that they feel as comfortable, you know, as if it was us living without these masks. Sounds good. Thank you, Brandy, so much. And I'm sure that there are plenty of people who are listening, who are looking forward to um, taking advantage of your services and having the before and after pictures. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, Brandy. You're um, very welcome. Thank you for uh, having me.
And yes, those pictures, I'm so glad that we were able to get your presentation up because, you know, that said a million words. So thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me. Like she said, my name is Marcia Thibodeau, and I'm a semi-Columbian native. My, parent, my father was in the military, Army brat, traveled until the 10th grade, well, ninth grade, and we settled here in Columbia, and I graduated from Wild Lake many, many moons ago. Went to UMBC and got a degree in um, computer science and worked at Verizon for 20 years as a programmer. And then I followed my heart and my passion in 2006 and quit corporate America and opened this bakery in 2008. We're located at, there's our pictures. We're located at 6656 Dobbin Road, uh, just a mile down from um, Walmart. And those are some of the pictures and cakes that we do. All that stuff you see on TV, we can do it. Uh, make people out of fondant, do drizzle, do all kinds of stuff. Uh, specialize in uh, doing custom cakes, but we do simple happy birthday, Susie, and happy birthday, Johnny. We do anniversary cakes. Anything you want to challenge us with, we'll try it. Uh, we also do cupcakes and brownies, cookies, and sell drinks. And that's about it. Um, I love what I do. I have a good staff who love what they do, and we really work to make people happy and to have you enjoy your occasion. And as the name says, all your guests will say, oh, what a cake. And Marcia, I'm supposed to be trying to lose some weight, but I am <laughs> I am looking forward to um, what time does your, what time are your, what are your hours? We're open Tuesday, right now it's for COVID, open Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 4, and Saturday, 10 to 2. Um, I'm the primary delivery, so I cut the hours short so I have time to deliver stuff. And we also, also order, offer by um, order gluten-free products that are actually made by another young lady who is African-American. Um, she bakes here and sells her stuff at Roots, and uh, you can order stuff through us. Um, that's Cake Cake Bakery. And then we also offer um, uh, vegan stuff, vegan, vegan cakes that are very good, moist and delicious. So we uh, have a little bit of everything. The vegan and the gluten-free have to be ordered, ordered ahead, especially now during COVID, because we're not really not selling that much of it. But we do make them. They can be done overnight, but we do have to order them in time because I don't keep things around that long. Yeah. And if you can make sure just to put in the chat box your contact information, uh, people want to, you know, call you, they want to put in a special order. I will say that I have had um, a cake and a cupcake from Oh What a Cake, and it was quite delicious. And just seeing those cakes was just a reminder of how much, you know, how good they were. And so thank you very much, Marcia. We're going to transition at this point to Columbia Entertainment. I believe we have Mark, um, who is going to be talking about Columbia Entertainment Resource Group. Mark, yes, are you we there? Have there we you have go. Mark, yeah, we have Mark Leary and Linda Joy Burke, and we've worked with him on, on several occasions because they provided excellent sound and service for our events. And at the same time, Linda Joy Burke, who's an award-winning, amazing national treasure poet who does so many things, has graced our Kwanzaa ceremony. So it's an honor to bring them here today. And how do they contact you? Yeah, I sure will. I appreciate it. First, let me thank you, Ms. Sonia, uh, and the Howard County Office of Equity for the opportunity to be here. I know I only have a few minutes from a time standpoint, but I do think it's, a, it's important from a business standpoint that we not only have the opportunity to get out information pertaining to our businesses, but we also have the opportunity to lift up um, other businesses in the area. So I want to take the time just to commend, you know, everyone who's on the call, everyone who's already presented before me, uh, I especially want to highlight just Alan Dixon um, and Hair by Asha, right? So the fact that they start, they are starting so young. So I want to commend both of you. Um, Alan, I will be reaching out to you from our, from our real estate consulting firm to, to partner with you from a Cutco standpoint. Um, and Hair by Asha, my daughter kind of needs some, some new braids. So I'll be reaching out to you as well. This is no offense to anybody else, but I do want to make sure that we continue to lift each other up. And I also just want to give a shout out to Yancey for continuing the fight that his father started. So I want to, again, you know, push you forward as well, my brother, in, in reference to the work that you're doing. So just wanted to yield a couple minutes of, of my time to be able to lift you all up. So I am Cleveland Horton. I am the, the founder and team leader for the Homes by Horton Group. Uh, we are a real estate consulting firm out in Howard County. You know, I started the organization to provide a platform 
um, and to provide assistance for individuals to build their personal or business real estate portfolios. Now, that's a real fancy, you know, terminology just to say that we want to make sure we, we're giving individuals the opportunity to understand and get educated in this wonderful industry of real estate. And that's whether you're purchasing that's your amazing. first home, My your name. second home, whether you're interested in doing a rental, uh, things of that nature. We want to make sure that we guide you through every step of the process to help you understand what the process is, what to expect through the process. Uh, many of you know if you've, if you've purchased a home before that buying a home can be a very stressful process. We want to take that stress out of the process for you. Uh, we also understand that buying a home is typically the, mo the single most expensive purchase that most people will make in their lifetime, lifetime. And we want to make sure that you get the customer service and the dedication that you deserve throughout that entire process. Some of you all through the pandemic may have realized that your home is too small and you want to upsize that home. We want to make sure that you're able to reach out to us and we can cut, go through what the process is and the expectations to help you through that process. Some of you through the pandemic have maybe had too much fun and you also need to upsize and that's okay too, right? So we want to make sure that whatever your needs are, that we're able to meet your needs and exceed those needs as we continue to move forward. We also recognize that as our kids get older and they move away from home, there may be a need for individuals to downsize. And we want to make sure that we can kind of guide you that, through that process and provide you any information that you may need through that entire process. We also offer a number of, of home buying seminars where we go out to different organizations and organizations to assist them and give them the information that we have. Everything through credit, from lending, uh, from home inspections, to home buying, to showing houses and things of that nature. Everything, the notes and bolts of buying a home, uh, we offer that from a home buying seminar. So if anyone is interested in having us come out uh, and present a seminar to your staff or to your organization, whether it be a church, whether it be your employer, or whether it be a home, your home association or whatever it may be, we would more than welcome that opportunity to be able to do so. So again, I know we're kind of short on time, but I, I, I definitely wanted to make sure that you all get the gist of what the Homeless Bar Horton Group is all about. Um, and why you should select us, there is no second best, right? We do believe that we provide superior customer service. You are our highest priority. Anybody can show you a home or, or sit you in a room and have you sign a bunch of papers and, and to be able to purchase a home. Our goal, again, is to educate you through the process. So when someone asks you, hey, how was the process? You'll say it with the smile that you enjoy every minute of it. Not to say that there won't be certain levels of stress, but we want to minimize that stress for you and help you enjoy the process. Uh, I can be reached, if anyone wants to reach out to me, I can be reached at 443-379-3158. Again, that's 443-379-3158. I can also be reached by email at C Horton. that's C-H-O-R-T-O-N at kw.com. And again, I thank you, Ms. Sonia, and, and the staff at Howard County Office of Equity for the opportunity to speak this evening. Thank you very much, Cleveland, and thank you for you being able to participate. And I just want to echo what Cleveland said at the beginning. We need to uplift, and we said this at the beginning as well, uplift everyone. And so if you have a neighbor that you know are looking to sell their house, recommend Cleveland. Recommend, you know, someone else on this call um, for any of the other businesses. Um, Cleveland, I believe, and you can answer this question, if someone wants, has someone out of state, that is looking for a realtor, can you connect them with the realtor in that area? Absolutely. Okay, so it's, you know, it's not just for Howard County, you know, you can contact Cleveland and he can most definitely connect you with a competent realtor that will take care of your buying and selling needs. So Cleveland, again, please put your information in the chat box and we appreciate you and everything you do for Howard County community. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you, and thanks everyone for listening. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Linda Joy Burke, and I'm here with my colleague, Mark Leary, and we represent the Columbia Entertainment Resource Group. I wanna thank Marla Moore and the Howard County Office of Human Rights for inviting us to participate in this expo. Our company was founded in March of 2019, and we're getting ready to celebrate our second year anniversary. My colleague Mark and I, between the two of us, bring over 70 years of arts and entertainment experience. He's a musician, I've been a po performance poet, and we've performed and facilitated engineering and, and seeing and you name it, we've done it in all kinds of stages from small little intimate gatherings to festivals. Mark is going to talk a little bit about
what we've done since the pandemic and um, what we foresee in the future. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mark Leary, and what I do for the Columbia Entertainment Resource Group is a lot of engineering, consulting, installations, repairs, uh, deliveries, pickups, uh, things of that nature. Uh, we, like uh, Linda Joy was saying, we've done this for a couple of years, and uh, unfortunately, it's been really, really slow. So we have delved into the video business. Uh, we did a little before. We, um, Linda Joy is a great photographer. I'm a rookie photographer, but... Uh, you know, through the magical powers of the internet, we were able to make uh, uh, some work happen in the video world. So here's a sample of some highlights from about five or six, maybe seven projects. I'm not quite sure, but uh, enjoy. Columbia Entertainment Resource Group offers professional, reliable, and affordable recording for almost any event. We come prepared, set up quickly, and supply everything needed to record your next rehearsal, live show, EP, or your entire event. Contact us today for a quote or more audio samples like the one you're listening to right now. Enjoy your day. Hey, Scott family. This is Mark Leary from the Players Band out of Charm City, Baltimore, Maryland. We're thrilled to bring you this premiere video called Sledgehammer. It's off our brand new album, Smorgasbord, dropping later this month. Please check it out, spread the word, spread the love. Peace, the Players Bank. For more information about Columbia Entertainment Resource Group, you can find us on the web at www.columbiaerg.com, on Instagram at Columbia ERG, and also on Facebook at the Columbia Entertainment Resource Group. We hope to see you soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye. This is a, a great opportunity. I want to thank you for having us and enjoy your day and i'm gonna get some cake if you can come on on the screen and on um the microphone hi nicole hi everyone how are you today doing well thank you we're going to turn it on over to you so you can share with us about um Bell candle company wonderful i am nicole cowling the owner and creator of Bell candle co it is a small business that specializes in making hand poured soy candles and home fragrances. Um, it started off as a hobby for me that quickly turned into a passion once I realized that the process of making the candles were therapeutic for me. Um, I have about 25 scents in my line, various scents from clean to woodsy, earthy, some lavenders and herbal scents as well. We also have different size candles, as well as room sprays will be coming soon to the website, um, and wax melts as well for your wax warmer. 
there's a lot of different scents that everyone has a different palette. So we try to appease to, you know, get offer something for everyone. There are, um, let's see, I can show you a few of the different sizes here. We have a 16 ounce size as well as a uh, tumbler, which comes with a nice etched wooden top there. And there's also a smaller four ounce size for people to try. If you like to travel, this is a great size for traveling. And there's also an eight ounce size candle. There's many scents on the website um, with scent descriptions as well. Um, on social media, you can reach us at Ella Bell Candle Co. And our website is www.ellabellcandleco.com. Um, that's all I have today. I really want to thank you guys for this opportunity. And I welcome any questions as well. Nicole, I'm actually very excited. And, and make sure you put everything in the chat box. I love, love candles. Okay. And so just to have the opportunity to support you, that would be a wonderful thing. Thank you. Um, is there anything about your candles um, that uh, you mentioned? I was trying to see the size of them. It is probably my eyesight. Do you mind holding up one of the candles again? Sure. They go from a four ounce, which is a small travel size. There's an eight ounce okay. here. The tumbler is actually a nine and a half ounce. And this is just one of the lids for it. And there's also a 16 ounce Ooh, okay. for, for, the, for the, the long haul. The rim sprays are going to be, uh, they'll be introductory in a two ounce size, but these are rim sprays to help freshen your room, freshen any area, help eliminate any unwanted scents as well. And um, the wax melt, I did not bring that, but that's for your wax warmer. There are a lot of people who prefer to warm the wax melts rather than light a candle to keep everything safe. All the candles are made with 100% soy wax, natural fragrances that are phthalate free, meaning they don't contain the extra chemicals that are harmful to um, your environment or your lungs. Well, I'm not going to ask you which one is your favorite because that's like asking a mom to say who's your favorite child. So can you tell us <laughs> what is your most what is your most popular uh, item candle scent that is sold? The most popular scent goes between Uplift, which is a lemon lavender blend. There's also pineapple mango that many people love. Um, there's a, a new, which is a ginger citrus blend, and Awaken, which is another pineapple blend. Those are just the surface ones. Everyone likes a different, everyone has a different palette for their scent. So these are just the top off my head right now. But every, every other scent, it just depends on who you are. If you like a really woodsy scent, I have a scent called Daddy's Wood Stove. And that is very reminiscent of if you were to light a wood stove or if you remember going to your grandparents' house and lighting that wood stove with a very clean, fresh, but slightly sweet scent. Um, that is another one that a lot of people are pleased to. Okay. Well, sounds good, Nicole. Please, please make sure to put your information in the chat box. And I know there's quite a number of people on here that love candles just as much as I do. So please make sure to share and we will make sure to promote and share your information with us. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Liz Hinton and I'm the owner of Van Buren Woodworks. A little bit about myself and my business. I learned about woodworking back when I was in junior high school when some of the girls were told that we were too prissy to work with power tools. I then told my dad about it and he brought me a saw and between him and my mom, they both taught me how they both got me started in woodworking. I practiced my craft and now I own my own business. With my business, I have an online boutique and I also work in the community. I use, I go to different girls groups by volunteering and giving woodworking classes. Um, I also, before the pandemic, I would travel on the East Coast going to different vendor fairs. Um, here are some of the products that I use, I, some of them haven't, I haven't been able to display because, but we have um, 
I do cutting boards. Here are some, if you have a dog, I have where you can hang your lanyards for your dogs or your leash. Everything is created by myself. I use different products. This right here is um, for a HBCU and I used resin and I use um, a scroll saw to cut these out and you can hang these on your wall. I also make displays for businesses. You can see right here. For people that have different businesses that would like for their displays, I handcraft displays for businesses along with having items for your home. I am on Instagram at Van Buren Woodworks, and I also have my website, vanburenwoodworks.com. Thank you, Liz. And you're going to put all your information in the chat box, right? Yes. Okay, and then... Wait, before you go, before you go, Yolanda, I just have to do a little commercial for Soul Sister Liz because she gave me something that brought me good luck. Um, I hate to get too personal, but I will. Um, <laughs> when I was waiting for my husband to get here from Africa, um, dealing with a lot of stuff and feeling kind of blue, Liz gave this to me spontaneously. Didn't even know the importance of Africa. Did this is a gift for you? And I just want to say thank you so much. My husband is now here, and this is our little keychain. Everything hanger on her. And it's very beautiful and the quality is the best. Thank you so much. I'm also on Etsy. So if you go into Etsy and you type in Van Buren Woodworks, you'll be able to get me that way also. Thank you. Thank you very much, Liz. We appreciate it. And I know Marla talks very highly about um, the item that she has. So thank you very much for participating. I know I've seen you at the Diversity Day vendor as a vendor. Um, as well as the Kwanzaa. So thank you very much. We we look forward to working with you and partnering with you in the future. Wait, I'm sorry, we have questions. Um, how far in advance do you need for a customized order if somebody wants to work with you? What, what you it just you? depends. You can also reach me at 443-620-8224 and we can have a consultation from cutting boards or displays, it just depends. So I can't say whether it'd be five days to two weeks, but I will work with you to make something happen for you. And we're hoping, one more thing, we're hoping in the future, because before the pandemic started, we were going to like Girl Scout groups or different girls groups to teach them about woodworking. And that was on site. So we're working to try to get virtual classes going on because these classes are free. And it's just my passion to be able to teach young girls that may not normally want to work in woodworking or something that may be male dominated. It's my passion to be able to teach young girls that they can do anything possible. Another question, it won't let you go. Um, do you make custom boards for bathroom for my tub and relaxation? I don't know, what does that mean? What's a custom prob board? They're probably speaking of the boards that go across your bathtub and you might be able to put a magazine or your iPad on top or candles or wine. Just, we have to figure out what you're looking for and we can consult, but it's not that I can't make it happen. I didn't even think about that, but now I'm excited to maybe hear a little more about that. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I'm let you go after this, but this is the realest thing. Somebody wants to know if you could make a custom remote control um, holder. It, again, I'll never say no. If it's something that I can't do that we talk about and you send a picture, I'll let you know. But if it is, we can work together to make it happen. All right, thank you, Liz. Thank you very much. Um, and it sounds like you have quite a number of people that are interested in contacting you about some items. So thank you. And I'll actually maybe contact you to see whatever came up the um, board for the bathtub and see. You, okay. you, start, you start with them and then I'll see, you know, where it goes or I may contact you first. So thank you very thank much. Thank you Liz. so much. Um, Shanae. Hi, we're here. Hi, how are you? For some reason, we can't advance you to a panelist and have you come on camera. Um, 
but you are unmuted and everyone can hear you. Okay, great. Um, well, my name is Shanae Shepard and I have with me Shawanda Shepard. Hi we, guys. We are the owners of, part owners um, of Sunset Raw Juice Bar. We are family owned, so it's myself, Shawanda, who's my mom, uh, my dad, Larry, and my brother, Gerard. Um, and we are Sunset Raw Juice Bar. We sell cold pressed juices. We sell acai bowls, protein smoothies, green smoothies, wellness shots, the whole gamut. Um, if you're looking for a healthy um, ways to cleanse the body, detoxify the body, you know, weight loss is also part of it. Um, but just more so detoxing and a lifestyle, we are the one-stop shop for all of that. And also, we want to just mention to you guys, we are what we eat or what we drink. And what we put in our bodies affects many things. It affects our, our mood. It affects our feelings, how we sleep, our interactions with others. And juicing is just a lifestyle. You know, we just try to teach people that just because it's green, it doesn't taste nasty. It's great. Green is good for the body. And so can you share with us I know because I've been to both of well, you have the location in Owens Mills and one in Fulton, right? Yes. And if you can share with people like where you are um, and maybe your phone number and maybe your hours of operation. Absolutely. We're located in the Maple Lawn community. Um, we're going to be right near like the Harris Teeter, um, but we're in between uh, Patapsico Bike and Verizon. And our hours during the week, uh, for those early birds that get to work early, we are 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the evening. And then on Sundays, we are 10 to 5. Thank you very much. And I will just say that I was extremely excited when Marla told me you were confirmed because I've been to your Owens Mills um, store and I've been to the Fulton store many times. Wow. And my favorite, my favorite, favorite thing to get there is the Asi bowl, the um, Sunset <laughs> Energy bowl. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I, was, I was just there last week um, and I've had quite a number of your uh, cold press juices. Um, I'm looking at the website and I see you have so many, but I, I have not had all of those. I've had the cleanser, the strength, anti-inflammatory so i've had a number so i will just say that if you lived closer to me uh, or if your shop was closer i probably would be there way more than i am but i'm there <laughs> quite often so <laughs> but i i'm extremely excited and i was excited when i learned that um that sunset raw juice bar was black owned and, you know, besides the fact that it was fantastic, um, you know, menu items, I was even more happy that I was supporting your, your business. So thank you very much. And I don't. Yeah, thank you so much for supporting. Um, like you said, you've been at Owings Mills and the Maple Lawn location. So we really appreciate it. Um, our goal and our mission is to get our community healthy, you know, for so many years, uh, we eat, you know, I, I always hear, oh, high blood pressure runs in my family. And it's not high blood pressure. It is the way we eat that runs in families. So thank you so much for supporting. Um, again, we are just about healing our community and e eating right is the first step. And so that's our main mission and goal. Thank you very much. I was trying to see if I can share your, um, your website. Um, on the screen. Marla, what do you see on the screen? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I see the fabulous website so you can toggle through. Um, you obviously, you know, I've had this stuff. You have to actually see and taste this beautiful wellness in a cup in person or in a glass in person. This is my favorite, everyone, the Sunset Energy Bowl. So if anyone is, if, it, if anyone is looking to surprise me with something, if you come with a sunset <laughs> energy bowl, you will bring a big smile across my face. But there, there are so many, there are so many options here. Um, and then if you go to the website, there are location. Their locations are listed here: um, Owens Mills and Fulton in the Maple Lawn area. And then also, I will just. 
say one other thing. The smoothies as well are fantastic. I think my my favorite, which one was that? Um, I think it was the tropical mango, and I add spinach to it. So, very nice. <laughs> very nice. You get so, your in there. Yes, yes, yes. So thank you both for, um, again, for participating and for making sure that we're being healthy in our community. So thank you very much. You're, You're welcome. Very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Now, everyone, don't forget, if put your stuff in the chat so that people can find you. And like I said, we're going to publish the resource guide. I keep mentioning that. So everybody who showed up, you, we, you will make sure you can find them again. And then one other thing I will say, if you are still an attendee here and you do have a business, a Black-owned business here in the county, drop something in the chat right quick. We'll be more than happy in the few minutes that we have left to elevate you um, to um, share about your business. I know we had a couple people. There was one company that couldn't join in today uh, from Total Renaissance Wellness. Dr. Linda Way Greenwood, she just asked me if I wouldn't mind just mentioning, um, you know, her company, which is a wellness organization. I will just very quickly share on my screen again. Marla, can you see Total um, Renaissance Wellness? Yes, I can. Okay, so Dr. Linda Way Greenwood couldn't be with us, um, and she sends, you know, her regrets, but she does have three different components, a health and wellness consultant and programming, a medical advocacy and a food allergy advocacy and awareness program. Um, and if you were to go to her website, you will see that it's jam packed with all kinds of information, educational information to make sure that your family, your children, everyone is healthy. Um, there are, you know, how to contact her is here on her website. And there's information here, phone number 443-718-9223. So um, feel free again to support Total Re Renaissance Wellness. And one of the things that I think everybody knows is word of mouth goes a long way. And so a satisfied customer, a satisfied client will spread the word and that will continue to make sure that we have financial empowerment um, and we will continue to increase the economics in the black communities.